In 1940, Argentia was a sleepy fishing village of about 100 families, supported by the fishing industry and the Newfoundland Railroad Terminal nearby. But by May of that year, Hitler's Blitzkrieg had attacked most of Europe, leaving only Great Britain not under the heel of Nazism. The powerful U-boat submarine fleet had sunk over 5,000 ships. On May 15th, Prime Minister Winston Churchill requested help from America. In exchange for 50 recommissioned destroyers, America gained the right to sign a series of 99-year leases on British territories to establish military bases. This Bases for Destroyers agreement culminated in the first base on British soil to be established here at Argentia. U.S. forces occupied Argentia, now known as Northside, and Little Placentia, where we live now, in October of that year. And in June of 1941, the 99-year lease on Argentia became official. In September, five destroyers from Argentia met a merchant convoy and escorted it across the Atlantic. U.S. protection for Allied shipping had officially begun. The use of the convoys to escort merchant marine ships across the Atlantic worked in two ways. One, destroyers based from Argentia would escort merchant marine ships across the Atlantic to aid the Allies in their war effort. Two, air support from this site was an operational headquarters for forces fighting the German submarine menace. While the naval operating base at Northside fought the Germans, Fort McAndrew was built and manned by the Army for protection. So why was this naval air station built on a rocky, craggy, isolated, desolated, foggy, windswept part of Newfoundland anyway? Well, for one, the deep harbor of Argentia provided a, a good safe haven for ocean-going vessels. And the fog? Well, it was thick today, I'll give you that, and it provided a natural defense against any air attack. The most traveled air lanes led right across the North Atlantic, and vessels based here were spread out all over in air-sea rescue groups to guard and rescue planes forced down at sea. Argentia's place in history began and ended during World War II. But we still play an important part in the protection of the Atlantic every day through oceanographic research.